Hello everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Late Night in the Shop and I'm your host Shea Bear 1000 So stick around, grab you some corn, grab you a cold beer, let's see what we're going to mess with tonight. Okay guys, so I'm showing you guys here what time it is. It is, as you can see, 12.15 a.m. Saturday, August 15th. Um, I am doing a voiceover because something happened to my wireless mic. It had a kind of a high-pitched squeal in it, so I decided to voice over this. Now what we're working on here, we're going to check it out, is a realistic, it's a cordless... Uh, it's kind of like an intercom, but it's only one way. Uh, right there I'm showing you can also plug it in, but it takes a 9 volt battery as well. It's a, uh, a cordless room monitor. And here we're just, as you can see, we're just plugging the battery in. I'm kind of shooting the bull with you guys. Uh, but like I said, I, I, I don't know what happened to the mic. It just finally, it just went clear out. Um, I explain more at the end of the video of what happened to it so we're turning that on and that kicked right on it came came on immediately so this we're getting ready to plug this in and we're going to check it out it doesn't take a battery it does plug in though uh, that one there has the mic in it so that's the transmitter and the other walkie talkie looking thing is a transceiver it receives uh, communication from the one I'm turning on right there or trying to turn on and the switch was was very rough I mean it it didn't want to move um, and it wasn't working at all right there I'm tapping on it so the one I got in my hand right right now is when you carry on your belt or you know on your jeans or whatever and that one there you leave in a room and someone can talk to you and you can hear them but they can't hear you talking talking back so I'm not sure exactly what that would be good for but so we're going to grab a screwdriver here and we're going to start taking these screws out this thing was uh, it was pretty gnarly inside uh, like I said the the other part of it though seemed to seem to work okay and seemed to be doing fine so but anyway so we're taking these screws out here and uh I don't know why I was messing around with the camera there but apparently I moved <laughs> I was moving something so uh I might have dropped something I'm not sure what I did there um without having it uh you know listening to it um like I said you could hear it okay I mean the mic sounded good other than you know high pitched it was just a real high-pitched squeal like a feedback type of squeal um, but to me that's annoying so I didn't want to annoy you guys with it so I figured in as you can see right here we've already had it apart by the time I, I found out that uh, what it was doing so uh, it wouldn't be real if I took it apart again and act like I did it so that's why I'm doing the voiceover so you can you can see what we're actually doing here now there's the power switch and I'll show it to you here in a second how grody that thing is um, I don't know if it if it was actually got wet because nothing else was was as bad as that switch was um, so I'm not sure why why it turned out so bad but it was uh, if you look there if we get the camera to focus on it there see all that uh, that gunk in there and uh, it's all corroded all that corrosion um, kind of rusty but as you can see nothing else in there like the transformer it wasn't rusty uh, but that one part right there was I don't know if something may have been spilled in it at one time or if the switch got hot for some reason I'm not sure but also what I'm explaining here is how we may have to take it apart and check the the transformer but um, as you'll see in a second that that we didn't have to do that now that's a uh, quick drain electronic cleaner I guess that's what the QD is for um, it's pretty good stuff but you can also use uh, a lot of people use the uh, isopropyl alcohol 
the IPA. Uh, now I have some alcohol up there, but it's just rubbing alcohol and it's only 70%, so I use that stuff there whenever I can. Um, I got about a half a can left. It goes pretty quick, so uh, I'm probably going to have to pick up another can of it. Now here I'm explaining this switch felt really nasty, man. It was gnarly, uh, real grindy feeling. And it started, um, it did start, okay, now this, that right there is a piece of, of the battery out of the, uh, the, the transceiver over there, the other part, uh, it did have a battery in it, and I already took the battery out, I didn't want to bore you with that, um, so what I did was that part stuck in there, so I had, you know, it pulled, actually pulled right out of the battery, so, I just popped it out of there. I had it laying there to show that to you guys. Uh, but anyway, like I was saying, the, the switch did feel better. So here we're getting ready to try it. Um, turn, I turned that on and uh, I'm wiggling around and you can hear it moving. And it, when you're this close, you get a lot of feedback. So it was hard to tell. And what I was going to do, well, what I actually did, but it didn't work out the way I wanted to. I had... Uh, put my headset down and what I'm doing right there is I'm going I'm getting ready to uh, go out to the kitchen and plug that in and talk but like I said I was going to leave the um, oh uh, uh, the headset down there by the transceiver and uh, so you guys could hear if it was working but there wasn't any way that I was going to be able to hear it and that's what happened so when I when I did that I came back in and I played it back to see if this thing was working or not and that's when I noticed that god awful squealing noise and here I was uh, I thought I broke it because it it stopped working but I, I do believe it was just in that switch so uh, you know we unplug it here and uh, I'm going to spray some more of the uh, cleaner down in there and um, and uh, get the switch working better which the switch ended up uh, it felt like a new one of course it's not um, and how long it would last I don't know but it did clean up it felt like it cleaned up good um, after the second spray that I'm gonna spray right here again and uh, there we go we're unplugging and we're going to uh, go ahead and spray it down some more this time I I really put it on pretty heavy and uh, uh, rock the switch back and forth again and because I figure you know if it broke it wasn't working anyway right so you know it's not like we gave a hundred dollars for this thing you know this was something her dad had in like his scrap stuff you know like I don't ever throw anything away like them antennas there they're useful you can always use an antenna for something uh, you got a cord there of course the switch is no good but there's a good transformer there the transformer is good and uh, on the other one, on the transceiver, that one there, that you see me pick up, uh, you know, you got a potentiometer in there and stuff like that. So I'm getting ready to cut this clip right here because, I mean, this is where it really got bad. And, and I, I was taking it out to the kitchen to try it out. So really nothing happened. So I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next clip so you can can see what was going on now there I don't know why there was some weird stuff happening but that didn't want to kick on right away so but it did start working all right so let's go on to the next clip and let's try this thing out okay guys a little change of plans we're gonna to have to do this again because when I was playing that back there was a feed uh, back um, it was <laughs> It was feedback a lot of feedbacks and something so I'm gonna to have to overdub that part too but we're gonna do this part again with another mic something in here was messing with my wireless mic even though I had didn't even have those turned on yet okay so I'm gonna put you up here on this and we're gonna do this again and see what happens so let me get you set up here Just putting the mic on. There we go. 
Alright, now, let's do this again. I'm going to turn this on. I'm going to go over by the, uh, the washer and dryer. I'm going to plug this, this in. And we're going to see if it picks it up. Okay, now I heard it that time. Let me get you spun around here if I can. Okay, check, check. All right. Now, let's go ahead and put the screws back in here because we know it works. So it's kind of cool, but it'd be monkeys asleep. So, because it is late. Or I could just take it in there and plug it in and have her talk to us. But since I'm doing this by myself, I thought, what the hell, we'll just try it this way. Um, so let's go ahead and, you guys see okay? Go ahead and put this on. Yeah, so, that is why that's overdubbed, which I probably already mentioned that, but that's why, because something was messing with my, and then, like, it just went clear out. I mean just nothing well I mean it had like just a just like a staticky feedback and it wasn't from this and I, I don't know what happened to my wireless mic <laughs> well it wasn't the mic but I think it was the the mic system I hear Bruno behind me so right now I'm using the the little mic that came with the with the camera so all right we got this back together let's set this up here Alright, let's put this back on here, and let's spin you around, and let's have a beer and chit chat for a minute. I got a little story to tell you. Okay guys, so like I said, I got, I got a little story to tell you. Um, something a monkey mentioned earlier to her mom that I have forgot uh, we had talked about before, but you know, I can't, I can't work because of my heart condition and all that, but if I wanted to work one of her patients family or somebody wants me they want me real bad to come to work for them they uh what they do is they build ambulances now they don't like build them build them but once you know an ambulance is ordered and built or once it's you know it's built but they don't have anything in it, the lighting and stuff like that they don't have any of that in there so they put, you know, all the equipment, the cabinets, the lights, and the radios, and all that stuff into these ambulances, and then they deliver them to wherever they got to go. They also build race cars. They want me real bad. I wish, I really wish I could do, I could go back to work and, and do that kind of stuff again, because that would be a total blast. But, since how I can't, so... But anyway, I wanted to share it with you guys. I'm, I've been meaning to tell you about that, and I forgot all about it. So again, sorry for all the voiceover, but you know it is what it is. That's that's you know one of the cons about filming. You know, uh, you get technical issues, and and you just can't help it. Sometimes, sometimes you know everything goes smooth. Past couple of days, I've had problems. You know, like oil spills on my on my uh, workbench here and um, breaking 112 year old vices I mean how do you break a vice <laughs> Shaber can break a vice but yeah so and also stay tuned for some paranormal stuff coming up real soon uh, I'm going to do an interview with her mom about some things that have been going on here recently real recently just like the other night and uh, very interesting so you know you're going to want to click the bell icon to to check that video out because because it's going to be awesome
uh, so yeah the wireless uh, mics sometimes usually when it starts doing a high pitch squeal which is very annoying usually it's an airplane going overhead but this time it, I, I don't think it was um, I didn't hear an airplane and it lasted too long because usually it's you know 20 seconds and the plane's gone and everything's cool and usually we're outside if I'm in the house that usually doesn't happen because you know the concrete and stuff like that so I don't know what that was and I could have sworn when I just had this on I could have sworn that um, damn I got a memory card light blinking I could have sworn that I heard a voice come through this thing so this could be a good you know uh, paranormal device you know ghost hunting equipment whatever and just leave it turned on and see if it picks something up so yeah that was pretty cool so it, it's been a fun evening messing around with this stuff we, we got to take something apart and mess with it what is that blinking memory I'll bet you it's a memory card let's see here yeah I got three minutes left on the memory card so that's okay so anyway I just want to tell you a little story I'm not going to bore you too much it is late night Friday night late night in the shop it's not always going to be on a Friday but that cannot be re oh there it is 12 56 a.m. can you see that cuz I can't I don't have my glasses on 12 56 a.m. so we've been out here messing around for a little bit of course the video won't be that long uh, but like I said just do some quick things around here in the shop late night because like I said I can't sleep much and you know so I might as well utilize the time and hang out with you guys and have a great time you know so anyway guys I only got about two minutes left so I think that's just enough time to say goodbye and appreciate it y'all have a great weekend and remember Shea Bear the myth the man legend I'm gone for now don't forget to subscribe click the bell icon to get notified of more stuff like this because this is in its own um it's in its own playlist, so this is uh, Season 1, Episode 4. Alright guys, again, sorry for the, uh, for the voiceovers, but, you know, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. So, anyway guys, have a great weekend. Appreciate you watching. Thanks a lot. Don't forget to check out Monkey1000 channel. She's kicking ass too. We'll see y'all soon. Bye-bye and take care. Just a quick side note here. I just noticed a feature on this camera I didn't know it had. Uh, usually when you're recording... The record light stays on. When your memory card's getting low, the record light blinks too. So just thought I'd throw that in there. I don't know why, but what the hell, right? See you guys.